Hey, it's your host Dan once again. Today's project, we're going to be doing the super flush on the Buick here. Be changing it over from the Dex coolant to the green coolant. It's really only three simple steps. Drain the coolant out of the radiator, seal it up, fill it up with distilled water, not regular water, distilled water. Drive it around for a little bit. Um, I don't think 20 minutes or you know a drive is really going to do it. I, I think days or even a week to drive it around before you drain it again. Rinse, lather, repeat the process until you get the water clear. This is straight coolant that came out of the car on the very first drain. That's 100%. I added a bottle of this, Prestone, radiator flush fill and oil degreaser. We put half of it in to start with and then flushed it again which is this right here I used another half of the bottle once again filled it up with distilled water again of course and this is the result here this is on the second flush then the third flush and the fourth flush you can see it's getting progressively lighter and lighter as it goes along so this had half of the press stone in it and so did that one. So this is from the second round of flushes. This is flush number five, flush number six which gets lighter, flush number seven which gets slightly darker, and then flush number eight which gets really dark. There's nothing in the last one. And I know you're probably thinking, hey Dan, you probably mixed those up. No, I didn't. The reason for this is that the interval between the flush five and six compared to six and seven this was about twice as long and between seven and eight I think that was over the course of at least a couple days so that tells me that a lot of that gook that was in the neck of the radiator remember I stuck my finger in there and uh, kinda pushed it around a little bit uh, that's probably all over the inside of the radiator and the heater core and the hoses so each time I'm adding new water it probably gives it a better chance to just kind of eat that away and I think I'm gonna go with weekly intervals now because uh, I really like to get that out and hopefully get it down to clear this is gonna be the last time I'm draining it this is about the 12th time or so it's getting pretty ridiculous at this point but I'm not even gonna use a catch pan because this is pretty much just all water at this point and I've gotten so fast at it, it only takes me a minute just to reach under here and crack that drain plug. Yeah, we'll collect a little sample. It looks pretty clear. Now that that's taken about a couple minutes to drain, I'm just going to put the drain plug back in for the final time. Make sure I put it in pretty tight. And then we're going to fill up the radiator again. Okay, now that everything still left in the system is all straight water, I'm putting in straight coolant, not a mix, not a 50-50. I think that's where a lot of people make a mistake when they're doing a flush. Because there's already about a gallon of water still in the cooling system. And I'm adding about a gallon of coolant. Therefore, we get our 50-50 mix. And I'll put 50-50 in the overflow tank. But if I added a 50-50 mix right now, I'd be getting about 25% overall of just coolant. So I think that's where a lot of people make the mistake when they flush. They add 50-50 instead of adding straight coolant, not taking into account that the water is still, at least a gallon is still in the engine and everything else. Cleaning up that tank like I did last month, that makes it really nice and easy to see the level. I'm not going to bother to crack the bleeder on the thermostat. The bubbles should work themselves out. If they don't, I'll eventually would, but we should be fine. We're now full. We'll have about a 50-50 mix, and I'll come back and I'll check this in a couple days just to see if this went down a little lower to add a little more. 
All right, so this is the last round of flushes. This is about flush number eight. This kind of came out yellowy. It's kind of dried up because it's been at least a couple weeks since I did this one. And then the next time it came out a little kind of orangey colored. You can see the sediment that settled out on the bottom. The next time came out just yellowy, not too much sediment. And the time after that, it was pretty much crystal clear when I drained it. So was this right here, but it clouded up after a couple days. I'm not sure why. And then you can see there's some sediment that settled out of there. This is today. This is just after about 10 minutes ago. There's a touch of a tint to this, but this is good enough for me. I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to the green stuff. This is about the 12th flush so far. I've seen a lot of videos here on the internet where people do this kind of flush and it makes it look like in three or four steps they go from uh, red dex cool to a light brown to a, a light green and all of a sudden you know green like coolant and in the comments usually there's people asking questions hey I'm on the 10th or 12th flush and it's still coming out brown well my advice to you is if you could see that there's a lot of gunk in your radiator you might have to go about it with different methods like uh, maybe like kind of a pressure washer uh, forcing water and air uh, through your radiator pull off your coolant hoses you know a little more extensive because this did take 12 times to do it only is about five minutes for me to drop and refill and the water's cheap but still um, we're done we've got it switched over to the green and I'm just gonna move forward with it hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something thanks for watching